Knock, knock. Yeah. Wait, how did you? Toga, twice. As, yeah, Toys makes several clones over everyone else except him because, you know, issues. And Toga begins the Styrie Stab. In which she cuts their tendons to their legs, at least knees and shoulders as well as elbows. Them incapacitated. Everyone is shot. Shigaragi's like, what the fuck? Korigiri's like, there's... How? Dobby's, you fucking traitors. And so on and so forth. Just then, Togo pushes a button, and soon enough, Stain's agency, as well as several other heroes and sidekicks, show up and begin the arresting process. And yeah, everyone's. Like, how long? Like, the first day I met Izuku. What about you? The first day I met Toga. Wait, so, you were in cahoots this whole time? Yes. Damn it. What, what, what a twist. What? Really? Hell, you really thought we wanted to be villains but quirks like these? Toga, your quirk makes you turn to anyone you want and use their quirk. But you have to drink blood, that's freakish! Well, Izuku told me how useful and amazing it is, as well as how helpful it can be for hero work, as well as espionage. T Twice! You could rob several banks with several different aliases at once! Yeah, or it could be, you uh, one man army who can take on multiple villains at once or uh, hell help citizens from being too you know scared hell the fact that if I can get the measurements of the villains I could impersonate either the bosses or even <laughs> you know the underlings and just feed them information if I do get caught all well, my colleagues would just get destroyed that's it you! Hey, Shiggy. And you! Mr. Tamora. <sighs> this is so not fair. You cheated. Ch cheated? What are you talking about cheated? <laughs> Alright, you, you think... You uh, think life is a game. Oh yeah, how's your hand doing after... Snipe shot it. <coughs> uh, bastard. Hmm. Either way, take them away. Hey, Azawa. Seriously, I wish you could have warned us. Well, uh, if I did, the traitor could have alerted you. Now, all right, if you don't mind. Let's find that bastard. What, 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 what's wrong with the Commodore? <coughs> As Izuku gets engulfed in this grayish sludge and is swallowed up by it. Oh my, look at it. Wait, what just happened? As a huge explosion occurs, and it's at one of the smaller known factories. Where Izuku is spat out and is face to face with Awful One, who is. Uh, has mixed emotions. <laughs> I. I gotta say. On the one hand, I am pissed. On the other hand, kind of impressed. I really wish you could have been a villain. Yeah. Yeah, I could have been, but then. You know. <sighs> well, either way, sorry, but you're gonna have to die. As fire erupts from his hand, and as he shoots it point blank range at Izuku's face, Izuku, not saying a word. <sighs> well, that's that. As, uh, dude, seriously, let me show you 
hell to really spit fire. You can transform into this full dragon mode and unleashing a wave of fire all around all for one. It being so hard that it's exhausting all for one's healing quirks. He needs stamina to continue this healing. So, as long as Izuku keeps it up, no one interrupts him as the All Might shows up and All For One is completely healed and unleashes the All Might killing weapon. This time, it being more of a drill like fist than it would be in canon. As he punches Izuku, it does sting, but Izuku is just like, bitch, please. And she just starts pimp slapping <laughs> all for one. It's like, come on, man, why aren't you fighting back? <laughs> all my just enjoying all the fun. And, he's just... and yeah, they, they beat the other living shit out of all for one. He stands no chance. When all for one does try to get all my to hey, Zuku, Zuku just. What was I supposed to do? As. Before he passes out, he's. I just, well, I gotta say, <clears throat> Toshinori, you picked a good successor. Hmm? Uh, what do you mean? The Dragon Boy. He, he's a good one. Um. What? Sorry to tell you this, but he's not my successor. What? I did not give him my quirk. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Don't play dumb with me, Toshinori. You know he's your successor. No, I, I mean, I wish he was, but he, he said no to my quirk. What? Yeah, I said I didn't want it. And I actually did help him find someone else to give it to, but... It's not me. Uh, uh, so what you're saying is, I couldn't take your quirk, even though you're. Wait, what are you talking about, young Midoriya? As Alpha One passes out, but not before Izuku is stared down by All Might. Just... He couldn't take your quirk. Why? Um, damn. <sighs> I really don't want to tell anyone this. No, no, tell me. Because you got some explaining to do. He couldn't take your quirk. I would like to know why. <sighs> Fine. As Izuku does summarize his... Life. Upon hearing this, he, it, uh, he, are you serious? So, you were given this power by literally God, wanting this Kaido person to. Yep. <laughs> wow, I am. Uh, um, this is a lot, all things considered. Yeah. So, wait, so you're really fine with telling me all this? Uh, if anything, I probably should have told you sooner. I mean, you let me know about your quirk, I should let you know about mine. So... Why don't we go visit Denki and shut those reporters up? As time passes, Denki is finally allowed to walk free among the people. Then someone get him stared, but then re remembering, he's like, "Oh wait, yeah, he he was that wasn't him." Toga actually admitting that, "Yeah, I took his place this whole time. It it, it that wasn't him. I'm sorry." <laughs> Just playing, just like playing innocent. I'm sorry. I did, I didn't mean to. I mean, I did, but still. <laughs> Is yeah, twice. Toga, Spinner, anyone who really sided with Stain, even Dobby after B 
being healed and going through some family, you could say, therapy. Yeah, it's pretty much like that. It's, it's easy. No, no, nothing to really worry about. But when it comes to the overhaul arc, that... <laughs> and let's just get into it. Let's just say when Nai hears about Izuku, he does think he's the you know, next user. The thing is, with Izuku's new found fame and taking down all for one, Shigaragi and all that, he's a lot more busy. How so? Well, take, take your pick. Not only is he still able to make his scales, his fur, hell, he can even sell off some horns if he needs to, but he just, they're not too easy to break off unless you actually have something as durable as his scales. So yeah, the money is flowing. Momo, as well as several others, just like, uh, you know what, well, why don't we actually give you some free publicity? Is it, what are you talking about? We, you can give us some of your wares from time to time and we show them off. Hey, we're going to be heroes anyway. Really? Y'all want to? Momo's so, like, you know I do. Seriously. I, I cannot go on without some of your equipment and clothes. It's, it's wonderful. I just got a bag made out of your fur. Not so much it doubles as a weapon because of the straps that's just made out of your scales. So, that's a good point. But uh, you guys are going to be catching a lot of eyes. We don't care. Are you cool with this too, Araka? Uh, it's gonna be weird having something so expensive, but I I guess I don't really mind it. Huh. Okay, as long as you're cool with it, I guess. Huh. This is an interesting turn of events. Oh, you have no idea. And yeah, that's pretty much how that ends. Now, when Nai does extend the invitation, yeah, he asks Zuku to show up. He does do the same test, but it's harder for him because it's hard for him to keep it away from Izuku since he's so massive. As well as him using a dome of electricity or lighting to pretty much stun Night Eye. Just thank you, and that's a stamp right there. <sighs> he chose a good successor this time. What? What? You are all my successor, are you not? I know. What? Okay, now, no, I, I gotta talk to Toshi. He, this is stupid. If he, if he didn't give the court to you, who could he? Have? Oh, that's another thing. I wanted to invite somebody. Who? Oh. As Kirishima shows up, uh, um, is this the right place? Who is this? This is the successor of One for All. Him? What's his quirk? Show him. Kiri, it's Kirishima. Whatever. As he just activates his hardening quirk, which has gotten a hell of a lot more durable. He like, said, that's it? Well, he did also get a durability boost, strength boost, speed boost, and yada yada yada. All that shit. Like I said, is that it? Kirishima's... Damn. You don't have to, you don't have to do me like that. I'm just saying. I, I expected. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I I expected uh, more. Uh, well, more. 
<sighs> I understand. Kirishima bowing his head down in shame as he's about to walk off. He's like, hey, wait, wait, wait. Don't, uh, don't leave, Kiri. But he's disappointed, so what? Still, that's your quirk now. <sighs> you shouldn't have to feel like that. Just eyeing night eyes. Hmm. Well, if anything, all I can say is welcome aboard. And, uh, Mirio. Yes, sir. Take them on patrol. Let's see what they can do. And he does get into the whole thing about, you know, <laughs> about Chisuke. Huh, so he can erase quirks. Thank God I don't have a quirk. Is he... Huh. So, you don't want us to engage him. That's correct. Okay, so... Hmm. Don't engage unless we have to. I would prefer if you didn't, but... Fine. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, fine. As soon as you go on patrol, Izuku, being as tall as he is, everyone recognizes him. When Chisuke, or at least Eri, does bump into him, she does hear about it. She does know about him somewhat. Seeing how strong he is, how she holds on to him for dear life, and Chizuki shows up, sees who it is, and starts flipping out. He's like, no, no, wait, 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 wait a minute. He doesn't even threaten Eri. He doesn't even do any of that shit. All he does is take off his glove and goes to town. He starts creating spikes to encase Izuku in a, technically like a Iron Maiden esque with trap, but. He sees that it does nothing. It, it starts breaking the spikes. It, like, um, what are you doing? Like, Why isn't this working? What? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you're trying to kill me. Yes! But, well, you're going to try something even less stronger than that. Him just breaking the rest of the spikes with no effort needed. Aries just looking up at him, like, help me. Understood. <laughs> and this is when he finally does realize that it is Chisaki. He's like, oh, damn it. Wait, we were trying not to engage. Oh, wait, he's, he touched us first, so this is self defense. As it is not fair at all. Chisaki tries his best to. Her Izuku, he even does touch Izuku's arm. It does nothing, considering Izuku Korea in armament hockey. And it is complete and utter, you can say, bullcrappery. Nah, no, fuck it, bullshittery. And which, yeah, the police show up, they see who it is, they arrest him. But just in case, Izuku, he. Coats his hands in fire and arm in hockey and burns off Chisuke's fingertips so he cannot use his quirk. He screams. Eri covers her ears and eyes. Everyone else is horrified at Izuku's brutality. But as soon as he's finished, she's like, okay, you can take him away now. Why did you do that? So he couldn't use his quirk. Yeah, it, from what I gather, it, it focuses around his hands or his fingertips, kind of like Oraka or Shigaraki's. Who are those people? Well, don't you know Shigaraki's that uh, decay villain? Oh, but who's Oraka? Yeah, uh, someone dear to me. But either way, yeah. So no fingertips, no quirk usage. Okay, that's, wow, 
is nigh hearing what happened. He is pissed, but he is also. Oh, it's in self defense. I, I I can't ask for anything else. But he generally didn't do anything wrong. And yeah, when they do take Eric to the hospital and see and all that shit, she's calm. She's a little scared, but as long as Zuku's there, she's cool as a cucumber. And that's pretty much how this part will end. At least it would if they haven't realized, thanks to Fat Gum, that something is up here.